Fridays are a, a, a tough day just because there's not a lot of traders in the market. See, Monday through Thursday, you have about 100% of the volume that's in the market. And then Friday, you only have like 60 or 70%, maybe even less than that. Uh, not as many people are trading. People uh, start their weekends early. And because of that, we got to find out where the volume, where the majority of people are trading at the start of the day. Uh, well, a lot of the stocks were getting shorted right at the start. And I'm on a cash account, so I have to go long. I can't, uh, I don't have margin to go short on this account, so I have to be long biased, which is tough on a Friday. And I traded IHT. This was a play that was, this was a play several days ago that made a huge move. And basically what happens is, you, after a stock like this makes a huge move, you want to keep it on your watch list throughout the rest of the week because it still has potential. So you get sold off and shorts take over, uh, but then it kind of stabilizes and consolidates over a certain area. So in this case, it would be about 225 is where it was consolidating at before it makes its next move up. And we got a little move, uh, not completely. So we want to keep IHT on watch for next week as well uh, for a potential move. But it got a little bit of volume, a little bit of activity today. And I made a mistake that uh, I regret terribly. You know, I didn't make hardly anything on it. I only traded 700 shares. And, you know, I was just going small since today's Friday. My entry was good. It was 243. Um, so that was about right here. You know, that was very good. The 250 break is basically what I was looking for, for volume to move in. And you see we did get 100 shares of volume <laughs> in this minute, but then it drops so fast. You know, I should have taken profits. I was up a couple hundred bucks. So that's the frustrating part. I, it was a lesson learned. I was watching the right stock. I got in where I needed to get in. Got in early. Early bird gets the worm on Friday. That's another lesson you guys need to know. Because if you're late to the party on a Friday, you're going to get burned. Fridays are not for amateurs. Uh, it's more for experienced traders because you have to be very, very, very speculative. You have to have precision on Fridays. Getting in early. Because getting in late, you're just going to... Uh, not enjoy your weekend <laughs> let's just put it that way so i got in uh, at about 240 and then i scaled out let's look at my um positions i got in at 243 scaled out at 265 400 shares and then it dropped fast and the, the rest of my shares i sold it had to sell at 231 at the bottom of this candle man that's painful to look at so the good thing is i took some of my profit the bad thing is I didn't take all my profit, and I should have. Looking back at it, it was just retarded for me to scale out on a Friday because everyone's trying to lock in their green when they have it, and traders are leaving the market early, not as much volume. Scaling out is for Monday through Thursday. And I, scaling out is something I've had to get good at because I always cap my winners too early. And so a way to negate that emotion is to scale out so you know you're going to be profitable at least you know because i've always wanted to take 10 to 15 cents on a scalp um, versus actually letting my winners ride out and so it's a way that i've gotten rid of my emotion to cap my winners early and what i'll do is scale out and then let the rest just run out and then my on my stop loss would be at my entry but in this case i got stopped out 10 cents below my entry it just happened so fast um, i don't set actual computerized stop losses what they are are mental stops and if you're an amateur you need to set set hard stop losses because trust me you know it, it sounds easier to say than it is to do but when you're in the the moment um, you can really become like a deer in headlights if a stock is tanking and just think okay it's going to bounce eventually it doesn't bounce keeps dropping okay it's, i'll add to my position because it'll bounce here and then i'll you know i'll, I'll average down and not lose as much uh, it can turn into a snowball effect that you do not want uh, so always set hard stop losses uh, if you're a beginner and if not you know mental stops is, is the best way to go um, besides that a hundred years ago what they would do is I don't know if they had beepers a hundred years ago but but when when beepers were around actual traders would set their beepers to alert them 
uh, at, when a stock hit a certain price just because they couldn't do it on the, on the platform. And the reason for this is because market makers can see where your orders are on the, the bid and ask. And so they can uh, influence the stock to hit those certain points so they make their commission. And so that's the reason you want to have mental stop losses. But uh, I just wanted to go over this and really talk this over to myself too because I need to not scale out on Fridays. Um, it's, it was a mistake. Could have made a lot more today. Uh, it's okay though. Uh, being green on Friday is good if you're green on Friday. So uh, going long at least, you know, going short is going short is the long on a Friday, basically for Monday to Thursday. So uh, I wish I could have gone short today, honestly. But with Think or Swim, uh, right up here it says HTB, which means hard to borrow. And with Think or Swim, most of these stocks are hard to borrow. There's not many that are easy to borrow, and so that's uh, that's rough because I I do think I would be pretty good at shorting. <clears throat> But unfortunately, I, I can't do a whole lot of it with Thinkorswim. So I'm on a cash account trying to grow this and uh, learning lessons every day, just always being a student of the market. I just wanted to go over this lesson today so you could uh, learn something from it as well. Learn from my mistakes, learn from my successes, all the above. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys have a great weekend.